Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. My name is Monica O'Neill and I'm the owner of Domestic Bee. Today's video is what it says in the description box, having an office in a small one bedroom apartment or a small house, or if your house is full and you really just don't have anywhere to put it, you can either put it um, in the bedroom how I have it or in a, a little tiny corner in your land room. It really doesn't take up that much, much space. So have a lot of fun doing that. I hope you enjoy it as well. So come with me and I'll show you what I've done. This is a very small trestle table, the smallest one you, you can buy, which I did get this from Bunnings. And I'm going to cover it with this contact. I actually bought this in Kmart and it's a wood grain one. And so I'm going to, I will have to do it in two pieces as it's not wide enough. And you do want to make sure that the contact hangs over so that you can tuck it in underneath. Now, I'm not going to show you me doing this because I'm a bit slow at doing it and it'll be too painful to watch. So I'm going to go and do that now and we'll come back table is now covered. Uh, it took me a, a little while. I do have a few creases on the side there. Being curved it was a little hard um, to do but I'm happy with it. As long as the front looks good I'm okay with that. So it was good that the, it was the wood grain because I was able to join it and so it just looks like one piece of contact. And this one I did buy from Kmart for three dollars and I liked it because it actually was a little bit thinner than some other contacts and it was quite easy. Um, to work with so I was quite pleased the corners on this one um, I did try to do the hospital type corners but it didn't quite work out for me however it is um, what it is I'm happy with how it's turned out as long as from the front it looks good it doesn't matter um, and this is also a great table too um, to carry around I do use it at night time in the lounge room when with the fire on when it's cold and I can do my work there so it's a great very versatile little table that you can put anywhere. So we are now going to take it back into my room and um, dress it up. I'm standing in the doorway of my bedroom. It's a lovely bright sunny day, so it was a good day to film today. Um, this is just going to be a mock-up, so you can do extra to what I'm showing you, but it's just gonna give you an idea, especially those of you that maybe have only a one bedroom apartment or you don't have any spare rooms in the house as they all taken up. So this is a, I'm going to be um, using this cupboard as well, that's from Ikea. And you want to have it near a window so that you've got some natural sunlight. I'm going to show you the finished product now. I'm really happy how it turned out. So if I actually had no space for an office, I would be really happy with this. Um, to work in. It's a it's a lovely comfortable space. So we're going to go and check it out. I didn't have to, I only just had to move my bench seat up and oh, there's my little kitty cat there. So I've still got that to sit on. She just had a haircut on Friday so she's not very happy with me at the moment. Um, I've just moved the drawers over, the linen drawers which are from Ikea. I'm going to link um, what I can below so I'll make that easy for you to find. Now the pictures here, I would have moved them over if it was going to be a permanent fixture, but as it's not, I've just had to close the curtains a little bit because it's so bright in here and it's just a beautiful sunny day. So this is what I have come up with. So this is just an Ikea chair here. I'm just going to pull that back so that you can see what I've done. I've got a little, um, little rubbish bin just down there. And there's my covered little table. So I've got my pen and notepad here, a little cup, a beautiful candle, which I always like to um, burn my candles when I'm working. And I've, um, you probably recognize this lamp. That's also from my office. And my little quote with a little fake plant. I love this lamp because it has a USB port on the side of it. So that's really great. And this here is a phone holder. I've just got the cover there because I'm using my phone to record. And that is also from Ikea, so I will link that. Uh, just a lovely little print. And on the side here, uh, this is to um, give you extra space to sort your hanging files. So you've got your manila folders. Um, you can get all sorts of fixtures. Um, this is a pegboard from also Ikea. It's the smallest one. However, you can also get the big one 
Um, I only needed the small one, so that's only up by hooks, so it's not a permanent fixture there. So I've got my manila folders in there, and I've shown you, these ones are from Ikea, and I'm just gonna take one out and pop it on the bed. We'll get some shade here. So these are great for small spaces as you've got all these little pockets that you can um, file all your different documents in and you've got your little labels in there as well. So you don't need, you know, a hundred little folders, you just need a couple. And these inserts, like I said, all from Ikea, I think there's one, two, there's five. So you've got five of those. And I'll put them up. And I've just got a little fake plant there, my sellotape also from um, Kiki K with my little stapler, some pen, pencils, scissors, some, um, these are really cute, I really like these, pastel uh, markers. And I think that is about it. Now, if you did need the drawer space, I did do the bottom drawer here just to show you what you can do. So here I've just got my extra notepads. Um, that's all for my quotes for the day, some tissues, and my light for my phone, if I need that calculator. Normally most computers have those, however, I like to use calculators sometimes. And then just some spare stationary supplies. So really, you've got plenty, even if you've, that's all the space you can spare, you've basically got everything that you need to have a home office. Um, I've got my laptop is actually a 15 inch, so it's quite a large one. Um, so if you've got a 13, the 13 inch one, you'd obviously have a lot more space. Um, so I really think it's, um, oh, sorry, turned out really well. I love the way that it looks. It's lovely and bright. Like I said, I've actually had to close half um, the curtain on that side because, on this side here, um, because it was too sunny. So it's not bad having that problem. And also, like I said, the table is portable, so you can take that wherever you need to go in the house. Um, my next video, I'm actually going to do one with a craft space, so look out for that one. I have to. You can. I'm going to do one for a craft space in here, and then also perhaps one in my dining room where you um, have a little bit more space. And the great thing is too, I can actually. I'm quite tall, so I can fit. Um, my legs underneath the table here with the chair. You can also obviously put a cushion on there if you need to, if you're going to be sitting there for long periods of time. But I just got this white chair from a uh, dining chair from IKEA. I'm not too sure how much they are. Again, I'm going to link everything below, but it all it all goes really well. And it's hidden behind this cupboard, so. As you're walking in the room, you see the chair um, out a little bit. However, it doesn't um, invade your space too much. And like I said, you would, you know, you could perhaps change the decorations here, but I'm quite happy with that. It's not an eyesore. It looks pretty. It's how I would like to have it. Okay. I thought I'd share with you also how wide this space is. So I'm just putting the tape measure up against the wall. And I would say about 84 centimetres. So that's under a metre of space that you would need to make this um, cute little home office. And we'll do the depth of the office as well. So I've just got that up against the wall. And there I would probably say, I'll put it up against the cupboard because that's wider. And that only comes to 40, 46 centimetres. Allowing for the chair, obviously that'll be a little bit more. Um, you know, I've just got to pull the tape measure out a little bit more. And that is 82. However, you can always put the chair in another room if you did not want that. But for the cupboard, and for the table, that comes to no more than 50 centimetres out. So I think that's a pretty good, pretty good size. I just wanted to correct myself. In a video, I showed you the Aqua Manila folders with the clear inserts. They're actually from Kiki K, not Ikea. 
Um, I was looking at the pegboard thinking of Ikea because I have trouble with remembering names sometimes. I stumble over my words and they are definitely from Kiki K. I will try and find the link to those as well and link them below. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my little office space. I really had a lot of fun creating that. Uh, the trick to it though is to not have too much, just have what you need. So with the office space that I created, there was a place for everything and that's the key. If you have too much stuff, you will end up all over the house and there will be it'll be homeless clutter which means then you've got stuff on the kitchen bench on the dining room you know under your bed under a table wherever it lands and that's you know that causes stress you don't want that so if you just get what you need have a place for everything you can't go wrong the next video I'm going to do is a craft a craft area which I'm going to leave that table there just turn it into a craft space and it won't be suitable for sewing however I'm going to do one um, video where it'll be a little corner of the dining room so most people have a dining room if you don't have a dining room you know corner of your land room because you do need a stable a table you know to sew your machine on so that will be coming later on if you've got any comments or any ideas of your own leave them below um, thumbs up if you like the video hit subscribe and the little bell if you'd like future videos my last video with the home office and craft room tour seemed to just go viral for me anyway so it seems like people are very interested or you guys are really interested in ideas on how to make a home office and how to store your craft supplies so i'm endeavoring to do that in the future and i would love to hear from you um, also being the coronavirus still around my mother is in the age group that's um, you know quite dangerous for her so i'm only doing zoom calls i'm not doing home calls at the moment um, until things change so if you'd like me to help you with anything in your home with your office or craft room or you know bathroom or whatever I uh, we do that by zoom uh, the only thing is that you have to do the work but I will help and guide you a uh, 20 minute consultation free consultation first to see if I can help you and for the right fit all my details are in the Facebook um, on my Facebook page which is also down below and I've also linked um, most of the things that I had found at IKEA for you and I've also put that in the uh, description box below so until then take care have a fab week and I'll see you later bye for now